What's going on YouTube? 65 Rider here, coming back to you with another another product review. In today's video, we're going to talk about one of my favorite upgrades that I did to the bike. This guy right here. The Memphis Shades Road Warrior fairing. As you may be aware, on a stock street bob, it doesn't come with any wind protection. It actually comes with the 10 inch mini apes and it's nothing but you and the wind in front of you. So uh, one of the biggest struggles that I had when I first got the bike was getting on the highway and sitting like this upright and then just taking all that wind to my helmet and to my chest and it got real old real quick I can tell you that for sure. So I was actually looking to get some wind protection on the bike and uh, you know one of the most famous products in the market today for the soft tails is the Memphis Shades Road Warrior fairing and it's famous for several reasons. One looks, I mean look at it, look at it right here in this picture. It looks so cool you know. And two, functionality, meaning wind protection, because I can tell you one thing for sure. I can definitely tell the difference when I'm on the highway or I'm even on some of these, you know, backcountry roads, as if, um, when I have the fairing on versus when I don't have it on. And three, it's easy mount feature. That's a big one. That's uh, That was my selling point and why I decided to go with this fairing was the fact that I can put it on, take it off whenever I wanted to compared to some of the other ones that are more like fixed to the forks. Uh, like some examples to those, you have the T-Sport fairing and I think the Harley fairing as well. I don't know what the name of it is, but I'll, uh, I'll put it up here. But yeah, I didn't want a fairing that would uh, be on the bike all the time. Just because I like to, uh, you know, I like to mix and match. And so that's why uh, this uh, Memphis Shades Road Warrior kind of appealed to me. As you can tell, uh, we're going about 50, 50 miles an hour right now. And as you can tell, like looking at it, you can see it vibrates a little bit. But it's not so much so where it's like actually really annoying. So honestly, in all truth, it's not that bad, the vibration on it. Um, the wind protection is pretty good. I get a, lot of, a little bit of buffeting up here, you know, like to the top of my head. And uh, I get some buffeting from the side. So it comes through the sides and just hits me right in the chest. But it's still a night and day difference of having the fairing on versus not having it installed. I've, uh, I've done many days, I've done 500 mile days with this fairing. And, you know, I didn't complain one bit about the winds. I've uh, been through like, you know, different crosswinds, highways, going all kinds of speeds, you know, literally 500 mile days. And it was fine. It worked out fine for me. Like I didn't have that much problem with it. Uh, would I have wanted a bigger fairing and kind of like a like a touring fairing, a fixed fairing like a road glide or something? Sure, yeah, 100%. For what it's supposed to be, it's a it's a pretty good deal. I would tell you that. So I think uh, I think it really elevates the look of the bike, especially if you're going for that club style look. So when you look at it from all different angles, especially when you put new headlights like I have on, it just gives that the bike like a, I don't know, it gives it like really cool status, you know, it looks really dope. I mean, look at it, we're going right now 65, almost 70 miles an hour and, you know, I'm feeling wind, don't get me wrong, but it's not as bad as it would be without a fairing, you know. The Memphis Shades Road Warrior fairing comes with nothing. It comes as just the fairing itself. You have to buy the uh, the windshield separately as well as the fork brackets separately, unfortunately. So that, you know, adds a lot to the cost of it. 
I'll throw the cost up here on the screen uh, for you guys for the whole thing, like a windshield, the brackets, as well as the fairing itself. And all in all, I think it goes up to like almost, almost 500 bucks, I wanna say. I haven't checked the price on it for a while since I've owned this for a little, you know, about a year and a half or so, so I'm not sure what the current price is, but I can tell you like, it's pretty close to the $500 range for the full package. Uh, you get several options for the windshield height. I think it starts with the lowest at 7 inches, then it goes up to 9, then 11, then 13, then 15 inches. 15 is the highest, and that's what I currently have on my bike. I also have the 11 inch windshield, which I put on whenever, you know, I'm riding around town on a hot day. Um, I liked the way it looked a lot because um, when you have the 11 inch on there, um, you can see the bars kind of like peeking on top of the, on top of the fairing. And I like the way that looks, to be honest. Right, I gotta jump down to the house. I gotta do something really quickly and then we'll pick this up. Later. 2,000 years later. All right, so we're back here in the 6.5 garage. And basically I wanna show you guys, do a quick walk around of the Memphis Shades Road Warrior fairing. So I have the shorter windshield here as well because I wanna show you guys uh, what that one looks like on the bike. So we'll start off right over here, as you can see. This is the 15 inch windshield. As you can see, it's pretty pretty streamlined and kind of complements the look of the bike, especially in my case where I have the really tall risers and tall handlebar setup. You can see how it's kind of streamlined as it goes down with the seat and then goes up. It looks very good, very aesthetically pleasing. If you take a look at it from the front, You'll see here, it just really, really complements the look of the bike. The problem with the 15 inch windshield is that it's clear, the glass. It's not dark, like you can see my hand here. Whereas as you can see, the 11 inch is pretty dark and tinted. I don't love that about the 15 inch, but I guess they had to do it because of safety reasons. Where Memphis Shades, I think they stop at the 13 inch where they stopped darkening it, darkening it out. So yeah, I don't know. We'll take a look at the website in a second here and we'll go through that. But anyway, that's how it looks like. Take a look from the back as well. And as you can see, it's, uh, it's really like, you know, it's really nice. Of course I have sticker bombs all over the inside of my fairing. I still yet to have a 6.5 rider sticker, but this is my favorite sticker. It's from that movie, uh, I think it was Girl's Trip or whatever, it's hilarious. My life than Annie shouldn't miss out just because she can't afford it. No, ma'am, I'm afraid that's not allowed. Help me, I'm poor. No. It says, help me, I'm poor. Huh. So anyway, I also wanted to show you guys how easy it was to take off the fairing. So uh, we'll go ahead and do that right here. So basically in order for you to take off the fairing and I'll show you all the mechanics behind it and how to even install it. If you go in here, we'll take a look here before we take it off. You'll see down here there's a couple of brackets that mount onto the fork. And basically all you need to do is move this lever up. The best way to do it is to actually do it from here. Actually not move it up, move it down, sorry. So the best way to do it is to come right over here pull it and then lift right so you basically pull pull down and then lift same thing right here you pull down and lift up and then all you need to do is boom and it's literally that simple it's out that's it to put it back on all you need to do is line up this bracket right here with these notches with these little brackets that come, you know, with the, uh, with the setup, with the, 
mounting hardware. So all you do is you gotta line up these notches right here and these ones with these. So to put it back on, so easy. I usually try to line up the uh, top ones first and then line up the bottom ones and boom, it's in there. One problem that I do see, and you know, shout out to Memphis Shades, is as you can see, like this one kind of moves a little bit, which is fine, it's not that bad. It might be just the way that I have mine set up, but one thing I've noticed in the past, and I've actually had Memphis Shades um, send me new brackets, is if you can see these ones down here, they kind of move. I'm not sure why. Like the top ones are really good, they're very sturdy. The bottom ones, as much as I try to tight, tighten them, they kind of move up and down for some reason. Even these ones, I mean, these are, these are new. Memphis Shades uh, sent me these replacement parts a couple of weeks ago and they're brand new, so I'm not sure why they're doing that, but yeah, it moves a little bit. It's fine. I mean, never actually had a real problem with it while riding, um, which is a good thing, you know? Yeah, they never actually like came off or anything like that while I was, was you know, on a ride. So yeah, that's, that's basically what it looks like. They give you the mounting hardware comes with these four brackets, one, two, three, four, as well as these brackets right here that you would install on the fairing. And then you would use these notches to kind of go into the thing right here and hook it up. This is honestly, I gotta say, one of the best fairing designs. And this is my favorite feature about it because on hot summer days, and just when I want to feel like a badass, a lot of times I'd ride the bike like that, you know, the naked look or whatever, with the handlebars up and everything. Um, sometimes it looks really good this way, but you know, if I'm doing anything longer than 30 minutes to an hour, you know, getting on the highway, going at really fast highway speeds, I usually have the fairing on. Let's go ahead and put it back on. I'm going to show you guys what the 11 inch looks like. So basically to change out the windshield, that's so easy. You have these plastic screws right here. You got six of them, three on each side. And all you need to do is, uh, you know, just unhook them. Uh, let's see. Yeah, all you need to do is unhook them. They're super easy, like, and, and they give you instructions as to not do it while uh, using any tools. Just do it manually with your hands. So I'm gonna go ahead and unhook these six and uh, get back to you guys. So I pretty much took all six of them out. All I need to do is basically take out the screws. As you can see, it's plastic screws with a little washer right here. So make sure to hold this so it doesn't fall. Boom, and as simple as that. You see, it's still kind of sturdy, but then all I need to do is take it out. And that's it. We'll put them both here side to side so you guys can kind of tell the difference. I actually need to measure that one. I'm not sure if it's the 11 inch or the 13 inch. I think it's the 11. So to put it back on, as simple as that. You place it tightly on here and try to at least get one screw in there so you can hold it in place. I got my screw in there, here it is. And boom, you just do the same thing five more times. This is what the, uh, this is what the 11 inch looks like. Personally, um, I don't know, I kind of like them both. Some days I like to rock the 11 inch, other days I like to rock the 15 inch. It just depends on how I'm feeling that day. What I like about the 11 inch is uh, how the bars stick out on top. I think that looks pretty cool. As far as ergonomics go, I wanna show you guys a quick point of view of what I look like, you know, from the front when basically um, 
I'm riding and I have the 11 inch on and I'll do the same with the uh, with the 12 inch. As you can see the 11 inch kind of it's just a tiny bit taller than my riser and it kind of stops right here you know right under my uh, my my chin and heads down to my you know my chest but as I'm riding for me as I'm riding right here with the 11 inch the view is perfect because you know I'm not looking through the the windshield I'm looking like way above the windshield for me because I'm six foot five even with the 15 inch I'm looking um, uh, from on top of the windshield instead of through the windshield and in order for you to get your measurements right that's what you need to do right you need to be able to look on top of the windshield you know through the top layer of the windshield instead of through the actual windshield for you know the best safety reasons um, yeah, man, I mean, it feels really good when, whenever I'm riding. Uh, the wind, with the 11 inch, obviously, I get a lot more buffeting hitting me in my helmet. Uh, with the 15 inch, that helps a lot because it deflects the wind. The wind kind of hits the windshield and it goes a little bit above my helmet, you know, uh, maybe to the top side. But with the 11 inch, I get the wind straight, you know, straight to my face. Um, again, I'm lucky enough. I'm lucky enough to have both, so I can, ch you know, change and kind of choose which one I want to go with, depend depending on uh, on where I'm going to ride for the day. I'll put on the 15 inch right here, and then we can uh, go ahead and wrap up this video. All right, so this is how I look with the, uh, you know, with the uh, with the 15 inch windshield. Looks good to me, you guys. I mean, I like it because of my ergonomics. I'm six foot five. You know, I'm able to see on top of the windshield and be able to see the street. Whereas somebody who might be shorter, like down here, they probably have to see through the windshield, which is, you know, not recommended. You always want to see on top of it, not through it. Well, anyway, you guys, I hope, uh, you know, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, um, you know what to do. Go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Um, you know, we just hit that 400 subscriber mark, which is amazing. I don't, you know, when I started doing this, I didn't think I'd hit 100. So that's pretty cool. Thank you guys for subscribing. And, uh, you know, I'll see you all on the next ride. Peace.